I'll be talking about over the weekend. Um, it was a scorching hot um, Saturday game. Um, we had the scorchers against the Brisbane Heat at home uh, for the grand final rematch. Um, the scorchers chose to bat first. Um, we had um, six. We we're at for six for 163. Um, the Brisbane Heat had had to chase down 164 to win. Um, they were 10 for 128. Um, they were out for the whole um, team. Um, they had a few of them out for the duck as well too. That was really interesting to see them to go on the duck. Um, we had it probably at least less than 45,000 at the game because of the heat. Um, it was 41 degrees at up the stadium. Um, it was a it was a really nice breeze after the game. Um, straight after the game, I went from there to RAC Arena to watch the Wildcats play against um, the South Melbourne Phoenix. Mike Kelly um, against his former club, that he was the assistant coach, and he was our DP for our club club as well. He was there, only there for one year of the season. He uh, pretty much helped us, but he tried us the best as possible to get us as uh, as we were before. Um, we were, we and then he got an offer of um, head coach with with the uh, the new uh, with the South Melbourne Phoenix. Um, he took the role as head coach now, so he's not doing that great at the moment now. So. Um, and then Wildcats, we won over the Phoenix. Bryce Cotton, I've got a shout out to Bryce Cotton, my man, because he can be the one that he could win his fourth MVP this year. No other import has never done this before. To win four MV, uh, MVPs, four championships, and he's, he hasn't got a Australian citizenship and he's very angry about this, all this drama that's been going on with his citizenship because he could be playing with uh, Josh Giddy, um, Paddy Mills and Chris Dowling. He could be playing all those other players he could recognise to play in his role too. He, he got 34 points, 6 rebounds and 2 assists. Think about that, what he can do for us to win us another championship. If he wasn't in our team, we wouldn't be where we are in the second spot right now. So thank you very much Bryce Cotton for putting us where we are right now. We couldn't do without you Bryce. And we won against the Phoenix, 100 to 79 against the Phoenix. And now we're one point behind Melbourne United. And Melbourne are playing on Friday before we play against the Bullets on, on Friday night before we go on the road for the next two games as well we've got Sydney Kings away on Sunday it'll be on Peach hopefully and I'll be watching to see if we can pull that one off and do something that we've ever done before against the Kings and and I'm worried about uh, Doolittle he wasn't there at the fan day yesterday um, he was not well. Um, we're hoping um, they can, hopefully he can play for the next two games. Um, he's, they're going to have a look and see what's wrong with him. If he's not well to play, then he'll be pulled out for the next two games. Um, he won't fly with the team. Um, we'll end up having either Harris or Michael Harris filling that gap. And Alex Sider, hopefully he can pull up because we need him back for this week against Bullets because they've got Aaron Baines, they've got Mitch Norton, a two-time NBL champion with the Wildcats, and they've got a new coach too, and they've got Nathan Sobey that is playing so well this year, but he's not in our in our in our actual um, MVP contents as well too, so. It's hopefully it's going to be a good battle. We've last time we played them before, we've we were tied up with 87 apiece, 
in the last two seconds. Bryce Cotton had the ball. After that, he had he dribbled it, backhanded it, and then and then had a three shot, and he got it in and won the game. But not not the score was 90 to 87. We won against them here at Perth. Let's hopefully we can have that game going like this week, this Friday. And fan day was amazing, but sadly I couldn't do my podcast because of some reasons. Um, I could have done it because of um, I could have um, interviewed some of the rest of the players, but I got to speak to Jesse Wagstaff and um, I got to speak to everyone else as well, all the players, um, to see how they're going and um, we're looking really good and positive and let's hopefully let's hopefully we can get a win hopefully and if Melbourne loses we can go on top and then if we win on Friday night against the Bullets we can go on top and we can go 5 and I run before we make the playoffs because any it's now game on now for top six teams to make those top spots now to now finish now hopefully race home for the finals because there's not many rounds left now to go so everyone needs to buckle up now because Perth are going to be chasing the 11th championship and this is going to be a good race home for the finals now so if we can finish hopefully top we can make a home court advantage in the first week of the finals in the semis best of three and then hopefully best of five here at home, make the grand final here, win the championship at home, send off Jesse Wagstaff for the championship, and then hopefully retirement, and then hopefully we'll get someone good for him to replace. Um, and then, yeah, for the BBL, um, we've got a game coming up today as well at four. Um, Hobart Hurricanes versus... I don't know who it is. The stars. Um, for the we've only got three games left for remaining of the season. Scorchers have got the Sydney Sixers. Um, Steve Smith is coming um, to Perth, so we want everyone to um, come to the game tomorrow night. Starts at four ten or four thirty. Um, make sure you be there because we've got a replacement for Jai Richardson. Um, he's out for the remaining season. Um, Zach Cooley and we've lost two players now because of the test match here in Perth um, this week. That's why the season is pretty much finishing early than what it used to be last season um, because of the test match against uh, West Indies uh, this week. Um, we Hopefully we should get him back before finals. Um, Zach Cooley and the other guy we've missed out. So... And I don't know if we're going to get um, Jai Richardson back for the finals. Um, but hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully we can get a home grand final and a home final and win it and then win a three-peat. And, yeah, thank you for listening. And if you know anyone that wants to sponsor me to help me get my podcast going really strongly this year, um, I just want people to um, inbox me or write down underneath my podcast. Um, I need some sponsors um, so my um, podcast can go really well. Um, I want to have some sponsors shit as well. Hopefully possible too. Um, hopefully the Wildcats can sponsor me as well. Um, as well as Dockers as well too. So shout out to the Frio Dockers too as well. Um, hopefully you have some sponsors that I, you can um, help me to have too. So, And my other one is um, with my interview with Jesse, I've got 61 views and 10 um, subscribers as well. So that one's going really well. Um, make sure everyone stay tuned. Um, there's going to be some good um, um, people I might be interviewing hopefully in the next couple of weeks. Um, this is going to be even bigger and better for me this year. Um, I'd like to say thank you to everyone that 
actually um, helped me to put this all together, um, as well as Matt too, and Shane um, for supporting me. Um, I, don't, I wouldn't be here without them all helping me. And thank you for listening. Thank you.